What is happening guys? Cowboy here, and today we are going to be doing Story of the Century. So, uh, I actually did go back down, looked all over the place for this monster, could not find it, and then uh, after going back to the terminal and rereading, I discovered that the last entry was about them bringing him the head of the monster. So the head was really just some fucking crazy dude in a mascot outfit, because that's what the guy was wearing. So, needless to say, no crazy monster down there, sadly. Either way, let's uh, talk to Piper. She's another potential companion. You holding up, Luke? Huh? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper, I'm in. Good, let's get down to business. So I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Awesome. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You're heading my way. You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that, or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. You two have fun together, Piper. Too bad we can't make it a threesome. Never gonna happen, Kate. <laughs> oh my god. I did not expect that. Um, we'll send Kate to Sanctuary Hills. I mean, if I have to pick a, a companion who has a, you know, potential romance option, I'd say Piper looks a hell of a lot better than Kate being all strung out and shit. Don't know how useful Piper's gonna be in combat, but I mean, they can't die, so, like, <laughs> she has to be okay, at least. Alright, so, that quest didn't take long at all. Let's go explore the sewers. That's right outside. Should be fun to knock that out and even though this wasn't, you know, it was a companion, so I feel like this at least deserves uh, an episode detailing that. But we're going to explore that. Uh, I got to go talk to Detective Man. What do you have on you, hey. Piper? What you got for me? Sure, take a peek. You have nothing. She looks good in that. She does hey. look good. Uh, yeah, let's, 
Let's keep her in the road leathers. Hey. Where? And put that on. And I will take this. Two. So we got to get her a weapon. Well, if anyone could figure out a good use. I mean, more than likely, I'll end up with uh, with dog meat, simply because of the fact that dog meat can like find stuff for you, which is totally badass. But we can keep Piper around for a while. Uh, I don't have anything that I'd be willing to give her. I could give her the minigun, but I don't want her trying to use that. Those are kids' toys. When did it get so quiet? When we got down in the sewer. Probably filled with ghouls. Oh. Snuck up on me. God, this thing molests. Maybe I'll find another death call down here. Who knows? Oh my god, holy shit! I just noticed how fast my health was just bombing out from that. That is one beast ass bloat fly. Oh my god. Jesus. Vats enhanced hunting rifle? Improves Vats hit chance. Oh wow. Well, I can tell you right now, I'm going to be taking everything off of my current rifle and putting it all on that. That is badass. Um, and since this place is chock full of radiation, we'll toss on our hazmat suit. God, that rifle is going to be so awesome for sniping stuff. Because I can actually take that base rifle and build it all the way up to where it's a, a 50 caliber. Which I don't really have the ammo for a 50 cal yet, but when I do, oh, I can't wait. Because it will be death from afar and it will shatter everything. I mean, even that being said, right now my pistol is still vastly superior. Simply because of the fact that I have the, the pistol perks. Apparently you're good at dodging. Monkey? Lawn flamingos? What is that way? I want to go that way. Maybe if I sprint, or maybe I can get up on this little ledge thing. God, I gotta get in there. That place looks badass. Loops around. The hell? You know, I think I've only ever...
ever wanted someone to know me. And really, I can't think of anyone who knows me as well as you do. I am your object of fascination, and you have become mine. It's humbling, detective. There was another one of those tapes earlier. I didn't think anything of it, though. So apparently there's someone down here. God damn it. Just broke on a novice. That's right, I gotta go put a scope on that thing. Call me Bill or Daddy. Got it. gun are you using? You are here to know each other. <laughs> you can use that for now. We'll get you something better later. Damn, Piper! Not as good as me. Duelist's leather. Meh. Whatever. I'll break it down. What was that? That's a glowing one. <laughs> Ow, fucker. those things. Back here, just that thing. Oh, wait. Flamer! Nice. I have the mini guns. I have a couple of big boys and a couple of missile launchers. That stuff all just gets kept over at my house. I should probably keep one of those on me, you know, just to have something that's uh, high-end damage if need be. <gasps> that looks like I can jump into there.
Where's that jump at? No, right here. and a piece of chalk. Huh. That's kind of weird. I figured that, dude, I don't, I don't know. I figured there'd be, like, something cool. Like it was a legendary machete or something, you know? Rad Roach. There's nothing there. This is an area that I cleared out before. No, there's got to be uh, another tape. There's got to be a tape or something. What is, like, what is this mystery that I just went on? I was picking up all of his tapes. I mean, we, we looped all the way around, and it just brought us out, you know? For a second there, I thought maybe, um... I mean, it could have been that he was the, the irritated one, or the glowing one that we fought. But I feel like I should have looted something off his body, you know, like a final tape or something. That's weird. The first one. Here we are, detective. <laughs> if you followed my instructions, one, you're alone. And well, if you aren't, I've already left. You better be alone. Well, come on in. I've put my work on display down here, and I'd very much like you to see it. I want you to appreciate your surroundings, detective. I can only be myself in a place like this. Life up there is exhausting. Every day you smile at people who don't care about you one way or another because that is what you do. Down here, I really get to live. I'm happy to share it with you today, detective. So he was definitely a ghoul. I am getting so anxious about our meeting, detective. You know, I think I have only ever wanted someone to know me. And really, I can't think of anyone who knows me as well as you. I am your object of fascination, and you have become mine. It's humbling, detective. I didn't want to hurt 
you, detective. I didn't want to hurt you, but you, you hurt me first. Now, I know you didn't mean those things you said, and I forgive you, detective. It doesn't matter anymore. Now, you're here with me. <laughs> and we have all the time in the world to get to know each other. I mean, if it's not the, if it wasn't the glowing one, I don't know who else it would have been. Because I figure it's either him or there's a fifth tape down here somewhere that I missed. Is there anything there? I checked back in here. And there was the flamer. Man, that's gonna bug me, cause that was like, you know, that that felt like it was gonna lead into something really, really badass. And like, yeah, I picked up the flamer and all, but I don't feel like that was a true enough end. You know, there, I feel like there has to have been something that I missed. But this is this was right around where I found the last tape. So this leads just goes on out. I jumped in there. And it leads you back out to the, the exit. There was this room. Is there something I missed in here? There was the weird glowing rad roach. But that was it. And then after that, you're here, ready to leave. Damn. Well, I'll tell you guys what. I'm a little, uh, a little upset with how that ended. I felt like there was a really you know, kind of badass subplot that I was onto, and it kind of wrapped up a little, uh, premature in my opinion, so. Either way, we did get a badass gun out of doing all that, and we have a new companion, so, uh, on that note, I'm gonna go make some pockets. Uh, as for our next mission, a couple different things that I really want to focus on. Obviously, Semper and Victor I want to knock out. Also, I want to get back on the main quest with getting a clue, and then I also want to talk to Preston and take that that castle type thing so oh god no why now why now go away jesus christ ah uh, what an asshole either way guys that is going to wrap up this one so i'm not sure which quest we'll we'll go on next we'll probably end up uh meeting up with with a dude oh hang on where's this prick at hang on we're blowing up these dicks before i go any further they don't see me that's great let's fly little human oh god he sees me no Guys, this is so bad. I just wanted to end the episode. <laughs> Get him, Diamond City Security. Why are you running? Whew, he's down. Okay, so we will actually end things now. Thanks for coming on by, and we will see you guys next time with more Fallout 4.